the reason I'm throwing both of these in together is they're, they're quite similar. You can see the circular patches of lime green turf out here. Uh, that's our weedy Bermuda grass or nimble wheel. In this case, it's nimble wheel. So both of them are lime green in the summer, but in the fall, we start getting phone calls at Virginia Tech. You know, my, my lawn is, uh, has a disease. Uh, you'll see this also kind of uh, into the early spring uh, uh, season. What that is, is it's patches of this perennial grass. This one's nimble wheel, and in the background is uh, Bermuda grass. So the two are very similar in their overall biology, their overall habits. So uh, they can be encountered in Virginia lawns uh, at the same time. There are some distinctive identification characteristics that will separate these two. Primarily, I'm looking at the stems. Nimble wheel stems are very, very thin. They're about one-third of the diameter of a typical Bermuda grass stem. You can see some of these larger Bermuda grass stems over here in this image. And so the stems, since we're always dealing with a vegetative stage plant, the stems are the best identification characteristic to distinguish uh, Bermuda grass from nimble wheel because the leaves are generally the same size. They're generally the same shape. Uh, there are There is a distinct difference in the ligule, though, and let me show you that. Uh, another thing about the stems, though, real quick, nimble wheel does not produce creeping stolons. It does grow in a circular path. The tillers will, will lay down and root at the nodes, and that will produce a new shoot, and it will lay down and root at the nodes. We really don't get these adventurous stolons like you would see from Bermuda grass, such as in this image here. So if you start pulling on one end of a plant and two feet away something's still coming up from that plant, you don't have nimble wheel. That's going to be Bermuda grass. But one other characteristic is the ligule. So we have a membranous ligule with nimble wheel and a hairy ligule with Bermuda grass. So that can be a great uh, vegetative stage characteristic. Just pick those plants up, peel back the leaves, and look at right where the leaf attaches to the stem. You should see a solid membrane on nimble wheel and a tuft of hairs on Bermuda grass. And if you actually get to the stage of uh, having a seed head, they are quite distinct. But uh, Dr. Goatley would argue that you are not mowing frequently enough if you're identifying these things from seed head.